this right now, okay? I can't pet. I can't pet ya. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm sorry. Dude. You're just gonna walk in circles around me until I do? You're a good kitty. Yes, you are. Okay, let's keep filming. Hello, vintage neighbors. Welcome to the vintage girl next door. My name is Lacey and today we have an epic haul. <laughs> today we are going through all of the dresses that fit me from the hoarder house. So if you have not seen that video, I will link it for you. I was able to go through a house where three sisters used to live and they were hoarders and they kept everything. They had all types of clothing, 40s on basically, and it was literally the pick of a lifetime. I am so beyond grateful to Kelly for letting me come and go through all of these beautiful clothes. <sighs> Thank you again, Kelly. I will link her YouTube channel and Instagram below. It is Frugal Family Farm and they are restoring this home and just one room at a time. And it's a really fun process to follow along. So I would say go check her out for sure. So you know that movie from several years ago with Katherine Heigl, I believe it was called 27 Dresses. There might be a few more than that in this video. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so many and I'm so grateful. So I'm gonna take you through, I'm gonna model all of the dresses and tell you a little bit about them from what I can tell anyway. And if there's a label, I'll show you that. And we'll just go, go right through and it's gonna be kind of speedy through because there's a lot, you guys. <laughs> there's a lot. But a lot of you said you wanted to see them all. So here we go. Lots of clothes changes. <laughs> It's taken me about three days in a row of just putting these different dresses on for you. I will do it, so stay tuned. I will show you all of the vintage dresses. First up is this lovely 1950s, I believe it's homemade, kind of a tiki tropical print dress and this one, I don't normally wear like browns and neutral colors like this, but I really like this dress. And I think that it looks really pretty. I accessorized it with some gold earrings and a gold belt. And I wore my sandals that I got in Mexico and some bangle bracelets. And I feel like it is a really nice summery, fun, tropical look. Next one is this beautiful Shades of Turquoise striped dress. This one I believe is 1950s as well. And I accessorized it with a white hat and some mint colored shoes. And this one has a tag. It says it's a shirt, shirt waist classic. And I just love the colors of this. These are turquoise is my favorite color and all of these shades of it just really make me happy. Next one is the butterfly dress. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this one in action already. I love this dress, you guys. I love butterflies and the colors are so bright and fun and summery and it just makes me happy and i paired it with my yellow purse that a subscriber gifted to me and some pretty pink shoes and some pink and yellow bangles this one is a moto day brand dress and i believe it's probably late 50s and this one i had to do a little repair under the arm totally worth it Next up is another 1950s dress. This one is such a pretty red and it has like black threads woven in too. So it's kind of almost, I mean, it's not iridescent, but it's like kind of color changey depending on the light. 
And this one was just missing a few buttons and I happen to have the exact same buttons in my stash. So I just replaced those and it was good as new. And I paired it with this really cute brooch, kitty brooch from Erst Wilder. And this one has a tag as well, it says Lenberry. And I thought it was pretty with some black accessories just to match the buttons and kind of bring those out. Next one is a house dress. I believe it's 1960s. It still has a pocket that needs to get sewn back on and a few stains and also the hem is out. So I'm going to have some repairing to do on this one, but it is a great around the house dress. I love the front zipper. It is swirl brand and I hadn't seen a, like a zip front house dress from this brand before. So I thought that was pretty cool to find. And next up, if you watched my how to wash vintage clothing video, you saw this dress and I believe this one is 1940s and it still has some repairs to do as well. It's got some ripped seams, but easy enough of a fix, I think. And this one, I just love it. It's really pretty flowy material. It moves really well. Next up is another swirl dress. And this is the kind of swirl dress that I've seen before. It has a, it's a wrap dress, but it wraps in the back, which is interesting. So it has that back button and then it wraps around and you put the waist ties through and tie it in the front. It has some wonderful pockets. And this one is great, I think, as well as a house dress, just kind of really comfortable to wear around when you're doing chores or whatever around the house, doing laundry, those kinds of things. Next up, I have worn this one in a video as well. I love this dress. This one, the pattern is so cool. I love the print and I love that big triangle collar as well. And this one's really flowy and comfortable. It's a really light um, kind of like a rayon material. Very comfortable. I believe this one is 1950s, uh, probably early 50s, I would say. And I paired it with a brown belt and then these Kelly green shoes to bring out the green in the print. And I love this one. I've already worn this one several times day to day and I just had to replace the buttons because it was missing all of the front buttons. Next up is another swirl dress and this one is a little smaller. It's more my size. The other one is a little tiny bit big, but this one had a lot of work. You guys, it has a lot of wear. Apparently this was like one of their favorite dresses because it had a lot of rips under the arms and around the waist. And I've been slowly working to get it all repaired because I really like it. Next, I believe this one is a 1960s. It's kind of a nylon material and it has really pretty green pattern. I love the little detail at the neck with the little tie. I feel like it's really cute and the flowers and I had the perfect green purse to pair with it. And it also has a tag. It is, I can't read the full thing. K. Artin or something like that. <laughs> Next is this really cute plaid, kind of a wiggle dress. It fits perfect. Like I, I could not ask for a better fit on this dress. It's not too tight. I love the way it looks on. I feel like it's really flattering. I love the plaid. It's going to be perfect for fall and I'm excited to wear this one. You are going on a run. Next is the super pretty sunny yellow 50s dress and this one it's kind of a sheer material. I wore a slip and a petticoat underneath this one and I love the colors. Yellow such a happy color and I always welcome more of it in my wardrobe. This is another Moto Day. I feel like the sisters really liked this brand and I don't blame them. It's a good brand. I already had a Moto Day dress in my closet. So I was very excited to add a few more to my collection. <laughs> Next
next up, this one does not have a label, but I don't think it's homemade. I, I mean, it might be. I don't think so, though. I think this one is store-bought. I love the front collar, how it overlaps, and I just pinned a brooch on there kind of to hold it in place, and I feel like that's kind of how it was meant to be worn. This one, the belt has a red spot on it, and I've tried to get it out, and I've gotten a lot of the stain out, but there's still a little bit left, so... I'll keep working on it. Next up is this super fun rainbow dot dress. This one is 1950s as well. I love the different color rainbow dots. I had the perfect rainbow shoes to wear with it and I just kind of went for all the colors of the accessories with the red belt, red bracelet, green earrings, and yellow hair flower because I thought it was a lot of fun to just kind of play with the colors and from far away you can't tell as much but up close all those little rainbow dots and this one is one of my favorites you guys this was a 1940s dress I believe and it is so pretty it's the buttons on it are really cool it came with a brooch pinned on and those buttons it is a Francis Dexter original and I paired it with black accessories. It felt kind of more fancy to me with the rhinestone buttons and things. So I jazzed it up with some gloves and some sparkly earrings and a hat with a feather. And then I also thrifted these Troop Vintage 1940s shoes not too long ago. So I paired it with those as well. They have rhinestones on them. I love this outfit, you guys. <laughs> I'm out for kitty pets <laughs> and, and we're back with this pretty purple floral this one I believe is 1960s probably early side of the 60s I've already worn this one a few times as well I feel like it fits me really well it's like my perfect size <laughs> NPC fashions and I can't really read what it says underneath there, but it's kind of a more sheer dress. I wear it with a slip underneath and it is really pretty for spring and summer. Next up is this amazing 1940s navy blue dress. This one is a thicker material and it's gonna be perfect for the fall and winter. Look at these buttons. I love them. It's such a cool design has shoulder pads, has that fold over pocket. This one is a favorite. I love the structured 1940s look so much. Next is this pretty purple 1950s dress. I love the little cutouts on this one. It has like some really pretty multicolor eyelet lace in and this one was in pretty good shape. I just had to replace the buttons in the front and it was pretty much good to go. Next is a navy blue suit. And this one, I was so excited to find it. I may decide to dye it. It is a little bit faded. It's kind of like a gray blue shade, but it does, it does look a little bit faded me and so I thought I might give it a try to dye it and the inside lining on this one needs some work the lining is coming out in the shoulders but it should be an easy enough fix and this one did not have a label so it's possible that it's homemade this next one is so fun look at this 1960s dress you guys I love it it's like the perfect fall shades it is a Nancy frock made to wear anywhere it says and this one is pretty much brand new like the colors are so bright and vibrant i don't think it's ever been worn came with the belt i love this one for fall i'm not huge on the 60s but this dress is so cute next up is this pretty turquoise 1950s dress and this one i love the white collar and the white on the sleeves i accessorized with the white and I thought it looked pretty with some gloves and a hat and this wide white belt that I already had. 
and such a pretty spring dress but I also think it works for fall just with the three-quarter sleeves and I'm excited to wear it out. It can't happen. Next up is this beautiful black dress. This one I believe is 1950s and it is missing a few buttons. I'm hoping that I can find some that are similar. Kitties really like this one apparently. They were into it. <laughs> and I paired it with this black hat with the fur on it, which was sent to me by a lovely subscriber here on YouTube. Thank you so much. Thought it looked pretty with the black gloves and just really classy. I like that one. And this one you saw in my laundry video as well. And it has a tag on it, but I couldn't really make out a maker or anything like that. This dress has such a fun pattern on it. Look at it up close. It's so cute. I wanted to bring out the little pops of pink in the pattern, so I paired it with my pink shoes and a pink belt, and then also this lovely Erstwilder brooch. Also from the laundry video is this amazing ivory suit. Kisses for Johnny Cash. And unfortunately, after I laundered it, I lost one of the buttons, but it has a spare button inside, so I'm going to fix that here soon. It is Lady Barrington brand, and I love the peplum on this one. It's so pretty, so pretty on, and I paired it with a hat. I feel like this could almost be like a wedding suit. It's so pretty. Next up is this, I believe it's linen, 1940s dress these sleeves you guys they're so floaty I love it this material moves so beautifully and the cut of it is so flattering I love this one it is Marcy Lee Dallas soap and water fabric it says meant to be unconditionally washable so that's good news I love the colors like the print paired with the solids and then like just the design of it is super cool it has really pretty mother of pearl buttons love it and last but not least is this beautiful mint i believe it's 1960s dress with the really pretty pin tucks in the front and some lace down the center this one to me feels very springy like maybe like an easter dress or something like that and i love it the like the light mint green is so pretty and i have worn this one a handful of times as well it fits really well let's get scratching thanks so much for watching i sure hope that you all enjoyed seeing the dresses from the hoarder house. Oh, like I said, I'm so beyond blessed and so grateful to Kelly for letting me come and pick through, <laughs> for letting me come and pick through all of these amazing things. And there are some things that don't fit me that I will be putting in my clothing Instagram at some point. So if you're not following that already, you're gonna to wanna to check that out. It's Shop Lacey Faye over on Instagram. I will link it below for you so you can check it out. So tell me in the comments below, which was your favorite outfit? It's so hard to choose. There's so many wonderful ones and oh, I just can't even pick, but I'm having so much fun going through and doing some little repairs and <laughs> getting them ready to wear. So if you would like to see a video on maybe some small repairs on vintage garments, let me know below. That's totally something that we could do. I have a lot of exciting things coming your way. So if you have not subscribed already, please do so. We would love to have you stick around the vintage neighborhood for more of our vintage fun. And I hope that you are all safe and well and feeling loved wherever you are in the world. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.